All right, people, here's how to add an image to a web page. Find or download an image of your choosing. I just so happen to have a picture of Shrek. Within your folder containing your index.html file, you're going to move or paste that image within the same folder. And within the body element, we're going to create a new element, an image element, within angle brackets type IMG for image. This is a self-closing tag. And many elements have different attributes that we can change. We need to change the source attribute of this image element. The source attribute is src. And we will set this equal to, within double quotes, the name of our image. Mine is shrek.png, and then save. What I like to do, if I'm working with a web page that has a lot of images, I like to create a separate folder for my images. This isn't necessary, but if your image is located within a separate folder, we need to find the file path relative to your index.html file. So I'm going to create a new folder and let's name this images. It will contain all the images for my web page. Then I will move my image to my images folder. So we can no longer locate this image. We need to find the file path relative to the index.html file. To look within my images folder, I will precede the image name with forward slash the name of the folder images slash the name of the image. And there it is. Personally, if I'm working with a lot of images, I like to place all of my images within one folder. If you decide to do that as well, you just need to precede the file name with the name of the folder that it's in. Here's my image, but it's fairly massive. We can change the width and height attributes if we need to. I will change the height attribute. Height equals maybe 200, and that's a lot smaller. Hmm, maybe 300. That's a little bit better. The height and the width will scale proportionally with each other, but you can change them individually. Let's change the width. Width equals, let's say, 100. What we get is an extra skinny Shrek, and if I change this to maybe 600, well, Shrek is extra thick now. So I will just only change the height attribute so that the width attribute scales proportionately. Now, if somebody is visually impaired, they may be using a screen reader to navigate a web page. It would be good practice to add some alternative text that is read out loud by a screen reader. So that is the alt attribute. Within double quotes, I'll type a brief description of this image. This is a picture of Shrek. So when you add an image, it's considered good practice to add some alternative text. You can also add a title too. A title will be a small pop-up box that appears when you hover your cursor over an image. To add a title, set the title attribute equal to some text. Uh, Shrek is Shrexy. And then I'm going to save, hover my cursor over the image, and we can see a small pop-up box that has my title, Shrek is Shrexy. We can also turn an image into a hyperlink. To turn this image into a hyperlink, we need to surround our image element with an opening and closing A tag. So open and close. Within the opening A tag, there is an href attribute that we can set to a URL of our choosing. I think I'll set this hyperlink to the Wikipedia page for Shrek. So just type in the URL between these double quotes. Save. Then if I were to click on my image, this will take me to the Wikipedia page for Shrek or some other URL depending on what you type here. So yeah, that's how to add an image to a web page. Within the body element, you need to add an image element and then set the source equal to the image name. If you found this video helpful, please remember to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.